99.99% coaching institutes will come and tell you that you need a PhD or a CSIR net for your career. Well, truth be told, they're trying to sell their PhD entrance exam coaching and that's the reason they are stressing on that part more. But the truth is, well, you really don't need a PhD if you don't want to do a PhD. So today in this video, let me talk about career choices which you can make if you don't want to write these entrance exam, still want to become successful. Now, one first example which I want to give you today is let's talk about any of the researchers who are out of India. Well, they didn't write CSI net or GATE, but they are successful, right? So it's just that in our country, there is a norm that you need to write this entrance exam. Doesn't mean that without this entrance exam, you cannot succeed. The truth is you can, there are ways, and I'll tell you all of them in today's video. Now, first segment of this video, let's start target about what exactly should be your qualification. So your qualification can be a master's in life science, any of the subjects, and you should have the ability to learn newer things. And of course, you should have done some kind of workshops, hands-on training, internships, and uh, various other, you know, attended conference, published papers, stuff like that. So, you know, that's the basic which you will require to build on the top of your uh, career. But yeah, you should not be forced to write any entrance exam. Rather, if you want to do it, you can do it. So there are, f I think, four to six um, different career segments in which you can make a career if you want, if you don't want to write these exams. The first one obviously is going to be research and development, R&D. Now, you can get into companies, you can get into research labs, or you can get into universities and do your research on various products or processes or technologies such as CRISPR, bioinformatics, or any of broad as well as um, uh, mini and micro technologies which interests you in any of these organizations, which is biotech companies, biotech research labs, or biotech universities. Now, that's about the research and development. Now, let's come to the next type of job you can get. So, next type of job you can get is QA, QC. Now, again, you can get this kind of job in a biotech company or a research organization or a lab. Now, what work you will be doing? You will be ensuring that the product or the process is of the desired standard as prescribed by the company. So that is what you know, quality analysis and quality control is all about. QA case QC jobs you can easily get. Now, the third category of job which you can get is obviously clinical research. Now, clinical research is again, uh, it's connected by a lot of clinical research organizations. So you can get job in CROs. And what, what you will be doing? You will be designing and conducting clinical trials. The next would be sales and marketing. Now, any company and every company, including the biggest companies to the smallest ones, need a sales and marketing team. So you can be a part of that sales and marketing team and you can promote or sell biotech products. So say Prema's Biotech or um, BD Biosciences. So these are companies who have sales team which are selling products to different uh, companies. So you can be a part of that. So that is another career you can make. So these are the four careers I told you. The fifth one can be scientific writing and scientific communication where you can be a part of scientific journal or a magazine or um, any biotech uh, you know, college where they are doing a lot of publishing. So you can always get into this which is scientific communication and scientific writing. The last one is the most exciting one and that's something which I'm pursuing right now and that is bio-entrepreneurship. Bio-entrepreneurship is where you can decide to start your own company, design a product or service which is a biotech related product. It could be an easy biotech company or easy product based company or a complicated company. Whichever you want to choose, you can always do that and then slowly you can build upon it. So let's say uh, when Kiran Majumdar Shah started Biocon, she started with a papain, that is a, uh, you know, enzyme, right? So it was an enzyme based company. Later on, slowly, so that was an easy biotech company. Slowly, she started building on the top of it. And today it is into uh, drug discovery, biosimilars and whatnot, right? So you start with something easy and then uh, build on the top of it. That's bioentrepreneurship. You can always do that. So today I told you six types of jobs, okay, you can do without doing net or gate or PhD and that is R&D, that is QNQC, marketing and sales, clinical research, scientific communication as well as bioentrepreneurship. Now, there are more newer avenues of uh, uh, professions which are going to 
open up for you in the future. But to stay up to date and to know about all of them, you have to be subscribed to the biggest platform in biotech in the world, and that is Biotechnica. So don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube as well as our new daily newsletter, where we send across a lot of opportunities and a lot of ideas on how to grow your career. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.